Hi everyone, my name is Esther. I am from the blog victorialangfarms.com. Today I am heading to two of my favorite Goodwills. One of them I already went to yesterday. If you don't mind, my son is actually um, cleaning his truck, so if you hear that, um, that's what that is. I mean, he looks pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, um, they, my family doesn't like being on video. I'm going to find some pillar candles. I have these black iron lanterns here. I have two of them on either side of my porch and I want to add some nice warm glowy candles. I'm looking for some battery operated ones so I thought that would be really pretty. So all of that is coming up next so stay tuned. We're having our first really hot day today. It is 86 degrees here in Seattle, and for us, that's a big deal. I am at my first Goodwill. Let's see what I find. I first want to welcome you to my channel. These are really neat, aren't they? They are really heavy in real life. They have an iron feel to them. I've seen things like this hung on a porch wall using a command hook. That would be so pretty. This black iron fruit basket has a simple look, and I really like this price, it's $4.99. But check this one out, it's got the black iron and the wood, that is the perfect farmhouse look. While I was shopping I got an idea, I don't know about you, but these are so amazing because they bring a glitz or glamour to any room. But I was thinking of lining some of these in the middle of a dining room table. For some reason on this trip, I'm noticing all kinds of seasonal things like these leaves, candlesticks. That would be a whimsical touch for fall. And here is another crystal candlestick, but this one has a square bottom. I like it because it's streamlined and so simple. Sometimes that is the best way to decorate. I was really bummed because oh, this one is broken, but I love that look. And here is another candlestick. It's got the wood metal and the rustic bronze. This is the collectible area at the front of the store. And I love coming here because there's usually some really neat antiques. And this one is no exception. Check that out. It's $12.99. But can you see the patina of the wood? That is a no-brainer. I am taking that one home. I know exactly where I'm going to put it, and I'm going to show you at the end of the video. Here is a beautiful picture. I can just see that filled with flowers. And this wooden box caught my eye. It has a distinguished look like for a gentleman. It is lined with velvet. And then velvet here too. That would be perfect for putting all kinds of things. And it's $9.99. That is a deal. I love that. This is such a unique find. It's a green bottle inside of a crate. Isn't that neat? It's $39.99. I've never seen one like this before. And here are some roller skates. Boy, that takes me back. If you ever find a three-tier tray, grab one. These are great to decorate throughout the seasons. I love that one. But this was the best find here at this Goodwill today. It isn't my style, but I have to show you the details. Look at these glasses. With the hot weather, they are perfect. I can just imagine drinking some nice cold drinks in there. And then I pull out this bottle. Look at that vintage look. Wow. It's $14.99. If any of you know what that is, let me know. The best part is this cabinet. Look at the carving. What I really like is this storage area underneath here, probably to hold wine or whiskey bottles or whatever alcoholic drinks. And then here's this on the side. 
But check this out over here. It's another area. This is the most expensive antique I have seen at Goodwill. They're asking $599.99. That is amazing. I've learned that glasses have different shapes for different kinds of drinks. I don't know what this one is for, but it's so cute. And at 99 cents each, that's a pretty good deal. But this is what really caught my eye. Okay guys, I have been looking for a hen in a nest in the right color. And this one just caught my eye, I just like the brown. And I know exactly where I'm gonna put it. On this Goodwill trip, there is a theme I am noticing Things for the seasons coming up like fall there is a leaf on that lid milk glass is great to collect especially from Goodwill they are beautiful to put on a bookcase or use it on a nightstand to put jewelry in but this gadget here I don't even know what it is I think I like it because of the wood it's really neat but I don't know what do you guys think does anyone know what this is I can't even imagine and there was no price on there. I was trying to look for that. Hmm, it's quite interesting. This Goodwill is where I found a lot of frames for my home. I'm gonna show you a couple here that I found just to give you guys an idea of what to look for. Here is a gold frame, but don't look at the print on the inside. You can always change it by getting a print from Etsy and go into FedEx print shop that's a really easy way to get a new look but check out this frame isn't that pretty I even like the print on there this one is $39.99 this is what to look for when you want that wow factor I am looking for some garden pots and planters for my porch this is a really nice one, but not exactly what I'm looking for. I have saved a lot of money from getting my baskets from Goodwill. When picking out a basket, there are a couple of features I look for. And one of them is like this one here. It has a metal frame, which makes it so sturdy. and It'll last a long time, but these are really nice with the handles. These would be perfect to put behind a sofa or a chair to put a blanket inside. Another feature to look for is ones with wooden handles. These ones last a long time. If you find something like this, snag it. That is a good deal. My decor style uses a lot of ornate pieces. So when I am shopping for vases, I like pieces that are streamlined and has a simple look. But check these out today. These shelves are loaded. But here's an example of what I want to show you. Do you see how this is simple? I got this idea from Pottery Barn many years ago. And I have one that I still use to this day. The wide opening at the top makes the flowers lay beautifully inside. Now that I'm noticing these, I see them in different sizes. And this one is actually the perfect size. But the best part are the prices. No one would know that these came from Goodwill. That's what I love about my addiction to Goodwill. I can decorate my home and no one would know. And if you want to see my home decorated with thrift store finds, I will link that video right up above. I have a collection of flow blue dishes and this is a similar cobalt blue look. The farmhouse decor is still going strong, and this vase has that look. I can see wildflowers and cotton stems added. This hobnail vase looks like it could be used for so many things, like a utensil holder, but the best part is it's in really pristine condition. I shared a video where I went to an antique store I will link that video above. While I was there, I seen some small lion antique bowls that look a lot like this. I did some research and found out that there are quite a few replicas out there. 
This is when it pays off to look at the label underneath to find out if you found a gem. I mean, check this out. This has that perfect fall look. This is an idea of adding a simple thing like this to a dining table. But check out these plates. They have a pretty pink floral design. I am in search of a pink floral pattern set of plates. But this is my favorite find on this trip. I did not expect this at all. Who knew I would find something for Christmas? When I'm out and about, I think of these things. You never know what you'll find. In real life, it has an old world vintage look. It is so pretty. Every time I come to this Goodwill, I find new ways that they display their items. And this is a new addition. I'm not really pleased with the price of those placemats. But check this out. Isn't this pretty? Oh my gosh. I love that. This one caught my eye immediately. My daughter loves owls. It has vibrant colors and it's huge. It is such a cute mug. She would love it. And this was actually unexpected as well. It is a butter dish, or at least that's what I want to use it for. And it is really thick. We are hard on our butter dishes. Are you guys hard on your butter dish? But look at that. That is really stout and would hold up to all the use. I'm going to grab that one. And with the weather being so hot, I'm thinking about lemonade and ice water. This crystal jar has multiple purposes. I can see this used for so many things. I have been to a lot of Goodwills and this is very rare. These are $129.99 each, and both of them are in really good condition. Talk about summer fun. I remember my dad making ice cream in one of these when I was a kid. He had the one that you actually had to manually crank. This reminds me of my kid days. Lamps are another way to save money when decorating. I have found the most amazing lamps. The one I'm noticing here today is this black one. It has that old vintage look. And then there's one up here. It has a neck. I don't know. I think that one's really nice too. But this one was really cool. It looks like a digital radio, but it has a vintage record player look. But check out the details of this trunk. It has leather and just that worn look. I can imagine using some leather cleaner and cleaning that up it would be so nice that is a great find and of course mason jars are great to get at goodwill but this one is so big perfect for making summertime tea this is a gentleman's suit rack it reminds me of the olden days these are great for getting ready in the morning it even has a little area for cufflings or a tie, but I could see using this to hang a dress. This is a great find. This black iron industrial stool is quite large. I could see this used as a table. I am always amazed at things I find at Goodwill, especially old vintage books. I found one here amongst all these books. Do you guys see it? I don't even know what it's about. I like to take the cover off to see what the book looks like underneath. And then I like to open it up 
and see the copyright. And this one is 1965. But I think I have everything I need here. I'm gonna go check out. Well, on to the next Goodwill. This is a place that I've taken you quite a few times already. So I'm just really excited to see what I find. All right, let's go in. If you love vintage and Goodwill finds, then you are in the right place because this Goodwill is going to be amazing. I mean, check out that ship. It was the first thing I seen when I walked in the doors. And here is a silver teapot. It is really unique. Here, I'm gonna show you that top. What do you guys think this part is? It's got like two arms sticking out. Maybe you guys can tell me what that's used for. And here is a silver pitcher. I think this is a wine server. If you know, comment below. I just had to show you this little collection. These are MJ Hummel figurines. I cannot believe I found these at Goodwill. My daughter and I watched the new Sense and Sensibility movie on Hallmark. It's part of the five Jane Austen movies they released this year. In the movie, the ladies were drinking from gold teacups, and these look a lot like them. I'm telling you, you can make your home look like a castle from Goodwill. And you know, I had to pick this one up. It is a white pitcher, but then I turned it around and noticed it has the pink. I'm really picky about what I buy from Goodwill, so this was not it. But this is one of my favorite places here in the store, and you will see why. I shared a video a while back showing you a thrift store that had huge sets like this. I will link that video up above. A lot of these have the tape on the back so you can't see the stamp. I found this plate and turned it around. It is the Noritake Sweet Lalani. I think that's how you pronounce it. Check out all of these. That is a deal. One of my favorite ways to use my teapot is to put coffee in it. I will do a pour over and have two cups of coffee in a teapot and that has been so nice. Oh my gosh, you guys, check this out. It's another set. I love the edges of this plate. And there are some bowls. And then here is the teacup and saucer. And this is the platter. That is so neat. I love it. These are great for tea parties or any social gatherings. There is a set of six and each are $3.99. That's a good deal. This sweet little pattern of the yellow rose is so sweet. And look at that. There's some more down there. This has been a good day. What do you guys think? Can you believe the things I'm finding today? And I'm not done. If you like Goodwill finds, check this out. I found some Curian Ives bowls. I actually own a whole set that I found at a junk store. I will link the recent junk store video up above. What is amazing is plates like this. The color contrast is gorgeous. Not to mention the price of each of these and to find a set of them that is incredible. Now these ones stop me in my tracks. It is interesting how you can find things that you are imagining and this is what I was looking for. I will show you how I style them so keep watching. Do you remember me sharing with you earlier in the video of using these crystal candlesticks? to place in the center of a dining room table. Well, they don't have to match. When decorating, what makes things go together is the color. You can have mixed patterns and mixed design, but as long as they are similar in color, they will go together. I am now looking at some vases, but this is the one 
that I am noticing. If you want a wow factor, this vase is that. It is huge. And then there's this one here. I really like the shape of this one. It would be perfect for displaying roses. This Goodwill has a lot of household items like these teapots and these tea kettles. But here is a copper one. And this one is $7.99. But it's hard to see it in the video, but it is in very good condition. And here is a gravy bowl. I really like that. It's dishwasher safe. And here is another seasonal find. It reminds me of the one my grandma used for our Thanksgiving dinners. Those are great memories. Isn't it interesting how things take you back to times past? I'm not going to show you too many things here. As you can see, there's a lot of things. But I will highlight the best that I see. And here is a pedestal tray. It is $12.99. It's kind of dirty, but these things you can wash. I really like the shape of this bowl. It's really deep and it's $12.99. It's actually pretty heavy. And here is a candy dish. That is really nice. And this was surprising. It's a paper napkin holder, or at least that's what it looks like to me. Wouldn't that be pretty on the counter? I love that one. So those are the only finds in this area. And then of course I turned around and there was some silver. And this one right here caught my eye. It felt really thin. And I noticed there was two of them together, as you can see. So I'm sure those are not real silver. But up here, I noticed this one and this one. And that one has these little legs on the bottom. That's a neat find. And I will link an antique store that I went to in Monroe, Washington. There was one of these there. So I think this is actually an antique. If you guys know what these are used for, I would love to hear what you know. And when you find a set of oven safe dishes like this, grab them. They are perfect for family dinners, like for breakfast if you want to serve quiche, or for dinner when you want to serve chicken pot pie. Those are great finds. I mentioned to you early in the video that I am looking for garden pots and planters and these are some of the ones I've noticed but I would like ones that have a hole in the bottom it makes it great for drainage I really want a white one and this one is the one I'm going to get I really like that one and the price is just right and I am still looking for some pillar candles to put in my lanterns on my porch. I like this one here, but that's actually a real candle. I want one that has batteries. I like it when the candles look real. And this one looks a little fake to me, so I did find this one. This has that wax. It looks like a real candle and it's got the on and off button. I was just checking to see if it works and I noticed these knickknacks. My mom, she collects these. I have only found them at antique stores. I cannot believe I am seeing these here at Goodwill. I am going to buy two of them. Another great place to look is the mirrors. And I actually see a couple here. This one is an oval mirror. And I really like the design on that one. The 
look at this. That is really nice. It's a little hard to show it to you. And this black one. Yeah. It's $19.99. And this is one of the last things I'm going to show you. This is a chair. Look at that fabric. They are wanting $34.99. I mean, does this look like a chair for that price? I think this looks like a $200 chair. I mean, that's a deal. I actually found a nice summer top, and these are the things I'm gonna get. My camera died, so I wasn't able to show you this. This is the one I ended up buying. It works so great with this purple hydrangea. I really love the look, look at that. And on the other side, I have the white planner. If you've ever wanted a personalized mat, I will link that down below. And here is that candle. It works great there. I love that. Now I just need to find another one for the other lantern. And here are some of my finds on this little hutch. There is the hen in the nest. Look how well that brown goes with that blue. And then I found these books. They are antiques. I like that these ones are brown, but let me show you this. Look at that. It has this tissue paper and it is, the copyright is 1916. I mean, look at that. Look how well that goes together. This is a scale that I got for $10 at a garage sale. And here is that coffee grinder. Look at the wood. Isn't that neat? I love the way it looks. Another idea when decorating is to do the zigzag. So I have these three brown things I just added to this hutch. And I just love that. And I also have this hutch in my dining room. I added those plates that have the pink flowers. And as you can see, there's a repetition of three here with the pink postcard. And then these pink floral plates. And so I did a kind of a zigzag there. But I like the way the blue transfer wear and the pink go together. Now the plates added help the pink floral print at the top go with everything else here in this dining room. I found so many things today. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. Anyways, thanks for watching everyone. You guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.